So we're here in Lone Oak standing in front of our business academy, which is part of our high school. And Jamie and I ran the millage campaign last year to raise $12 million for our local school district to build an agricultural-based business academy. It's a partnership with Arkansas State University through BB, and we're going to be teaching courses as in diesel mechanics, which is tractor repair, agricultural classes where they actually teach the students to you know, plant row crops, what chemicals they use, what, ty what types of tractors you use for what types of crops. You're also going to find um, industrial technology classes. There's going to be an aquaculture classes, which is specifically based towards fish farming, which is, which is our specialty. And the, good, the awesome thing about this business academy is it's, it's going to be taught by our local farmers. And our school district got a waiver from the state to allow us to have our farmers and our local business leaders come in and help support these classes. One in five Arkansans work in the agricultural industry. It's our largest employer in the state. So Lone Oak being a rural community is a great match for an agricultural based school because our community is agricultural based. And by teaching these kids these agricultural classes will be able to stimulate our own economy and provide an education for our kids to actually stay in Lone Oak and work in Lone Oak and the surrounding counties uh, within Arkansas. Only 30% of Lone Oak students actually attend college and out of that 30%, only about 15%, 50% of that 30% complete college. So you have a huge gap of kids in rural Arkansas that never attend college. So why not provide an opportunity within their high school education that prepares them better for their career in a lifelong partnership with their own community so they can stay here and they're not having to drive to a big city to find a job. Not only will this benefit students in Lone Oak Public School District, but because Arkansas allows school choice, we'll be able to bus in students from other school districts, um, Carlisle, Hazen, England, Cabot, all our surrounding school districts have interest in a business academy like this. It's agricultural based. Um, we just received $25,000 grant from Bayer to, to do a drone class. It's gonna purchase drones to actually host a drone class, which is huge in agricultural because that's how farmers can look at their crops without actually being in the field. On the other side of the Business Academy, we're also building an 11,000 square foot health center, which is part of the millage campaign as well. And what this is, is a partnership with Baptist Health and UAMS, and they're going to provide five residents that come out here on a daily basis to do their residency program. And within that, we're going to provide free health care for all the students within Lone Oak School District, which is a huge, huge asset. Lone Oak Schools has almost 70% of their kids on free and reduced lunch. So if you can't afford lunch in your school cafeteria, you probably can't afford to go see the doctor. We also are having a dental chair put in, so we're gonna provide free dental screenings and dental checks for our kids in Lone Oak Schools, which is a huge asset to rural Arkansas. So not only did we chair the millage campaign, but we're also chairing a capital campaign to raise additional funds for this business academy because it has so much potential to grow within our community and within our state. And so we set up the Lone Oak School Foundation, which is a great way to contribute to get a tax deduction. And we're always looking for different partnerships and individuals that are willing to donate. We've been very fortunate to have the support of our local community, but we're looking to go statewide with our capital campaign as well. So we'll have our first classes in August of 2021, and we have uh, students that are currently enrolled in Lone Oak High School and Carlisle High School that have already enrolled for classes in the fall of 2021. So we're planning, currently planning a huge um, ribbon cutting for August of 2021, and we hope kids to be sitting in these classes this fall.